good y'all it's boy ross back at again with another video so we just finished watching monday night raw night two of the draft or the monday night raw edition of the wwe draft honestly there wasn't anything major in my opinion on draft picks and where certain people went a lot of people were stayed on the shows they were already on certain championships switched to different brands it kind of just felt kind of lackluster to be honest with you um i i know they did say that some people can end up getting drafted to another brand and if you hear some coughing in the background that's blondie because she's excited right now she just woke up from a nap so um honestly i don't know what they're gonna do with the cody rose situation uh we will find that out after backlash which is actually this week uh this saturday um so this was the go home show and nothing really just progressed any further other than the little interaction we got with brock lesnar and cody rose i think that's a big major program that everyone is or oh, a lot of people are looking forward to seeing we will see how that play out um but outside of that for me this monday night raw was not it it just I, I i didn't care for it the show just didn't really interest me you know there was some okay matches but a lot of these matches are rematches or some type of form of uh interjection of matches we've already seen the one pretty cool interesting thing they pulled a uh, eddie guerrero when uh jimmy was going against matt riddle and you had um jay on the outside and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is getting in, in, getting into it with Jay. And then Kevin Owens just falls. He pulled an Eddie Guerrero as as Sami Zayn hits, gets a steel chair, hits the announce table, throws it at, at um, Jay Uso. The ref looks at it and then kicks him out. You know, he has to leave ringside. And I, I like that. They pulled an Eddie Guerrero. That was a cool little, little moment. And Matt Riddle ends up getting the win off the distraction or whatnot hell even at the end of the show they didn't even have really enough time to show the all-out brawl with all competitors that's going to be in that uh that uh three on three uh tag match uh well three on three uh match they're having at uh backlash um but what i wanted to talk about and i wanted to give praise and i think this is for me one of the highlights of the show judgment day coming out there you know talking about what's going to happen damian priest talking about what he's gonna do to bad money which i'm actually kind of looking forward to that street fight match i think it'll be fun um <clears throat> rhea ripley talking about what she's gonna do to selena vega uh, we already know selena's not meant to win in that match so that's kind of you know a, a mute point but hopefully they can have a good showing and then dominic trying to hype up everybody else in the judgment day about their respective matches and the fact that soon as he picked up the microphone to say something the booze he got was it was the loudest reaction of the night outside of the cody and brock situation it was the loudest reaction and it just kept getting louder every time he tried to say something it would just get louder and louder they're booing him they're chanting you suck this is great they have something here in Dominic, and we've said this before, but just even after WrestleMania, even after him losing, he's still getting that nuclear heel heat, even though he lost, because people still want to see him lose. People still want to see him get beat up. People still want to see him, you know, get, get, you know, get what's coming to him, because he's still talking trash, and I love it. I love it. That was one of the best parts of the show. Dominic getting that mega heel reaction. That crowd came alive to boo this man out of the building. It was fantastic. I man, they have something with Dominic, bro. I hope they can continue that momentum. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. I said this before. I think at this point is it's safe to say Dominic is the biggest heel in WWE. Roman doesn't get booze like that. Not to that magnitude on a consistent basis. There's always going to be some people that love Roman Reigns. You know what I'm saying? Unless he's doing like some heel-like stuff, they're going to love Roman Reigns. There's going to be some people that's just going to love him. Nobody loves Dominic. Everyone equally hates him. Everyone's paying top dollar to see him 
get beaten up and i really do appreciate it's good to see heels get that type of heel heat i'm being dead ass it's not rare oh i mean it's very rare that you see heels getting so much heel heat like people are enjoying hating someone there's always that cool heel like rhea ripley she gets a lot of cheers a lot of mommy chants she's a heel but she comes off cool so people rock with her same thing with roman here with dominic no they legitimately booing this man because they just can't stand him and anytime he has a microphone it's just deafening and i love that they literally have something gold here it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with him the question is do you put a championship on him like a mid-card title on him or maybe have them end up winning a tag team championships at some point from kevin owens and Sami Zayn. they can get some real good heat if they do a feud with i would love to honestly see dominic damian priest at some point you know kind of align themselves as a, a tag team and that would be interesting if they won the tag team titles at some point from kevin owens and Sami Zayn, because i believe they're on uh i believe they're on raw as well uh, with the Judgment Day, they had crossed paths. Imagine the booze they would get. Because right now, Sami Zayn is and Kevin Owens, they're mostly because of Sami Zayn. They're getting a lot of pops. Anytime people see them, the pops is super large. So imagine the booze they would get if they cheated to win and they became the new tag team champs at some point down the road. Because Dominic has been a tag team champ with his father, but no one really remembers that title reign much. This is would be great because now you know what i'm saying now you would have something very substantial here you know what i'm saying they have the tag team goes Rhea has has a championship maybe finn balor ends up becoming a new world heavyweight champion and you know what i'm saying maybe the whole faction has all gold on raw it could be something interesting that's something they could do but i do think putting the tag team titles on damian priest and dominic should be the future because now you, they have championships and people are going to be really invested to see them lose those championships by any means necessary. So I think that would be good. And it'll be, they would get even more heat because they beat some over baby faces as tag team champs. So I think that should happen later down the line. Let me know what y'all think about that. How did y'all feel about this Monday Night Raw? Did you guys enjoy it? Uh, did you guys not enjoy it? And what did you guys think about uh, this whole Dominic uh, segment of him getting the boo booed out of the building? What was your favorite segment on the show? But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150K. And I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one.